friends today I'm going to show you a beautiful pattern uh, which is the waffle stitch and uh, I uh, use this stitch in order to make a beautiful washcloth this is a rectangle which I will fold in half then uh, I will sew from here till here and I will use it uh, to the bath uh, either to put a beautiful soap as this this is a an olive soap and in Greece as we have learned from our grandmothers we use a lot uh, these soaps uh, instead of foam baths and uh, this way I will uh, keep it closed the soap here and I will make a handle also from here till here and I could put my hand like this let's go and learn this beautiful <coughs> uh, waffle stitch and you uh, take your hook which is a four a millimeter hook um, in US that is a size 8 uh, crochet hook and uh, this is a cotton yarn it's always better to use natural fibers for uh, such a thing as washcloths this is an Alize uh, yarn that I can find in Greece but I think you can find it elsewhere and uh, it is a cotton gold plus uh, that means is um, the most uh, maybe heavy um, yarn so hold your yarn like this with the tail um, this way twist the yarn so a loop is created and lay over there and take your first uh, loop this is the slip knot and it does not count as a stitch you should chain mul uh, a multiples of three one two three uh, I chained uh, 39 sti uh, stitches 39 chains and uh, my total width is about 30 centimeters and when folded this washcloth will be around 15 centimeters wide so keep chaining until you uh, reach uh, the desired uh, width that you want and uh, I will meet you back when you are done with your foundation chain uh, which has to be um, a little bit loose because we are going to work back into these stitches once you are done with uh, the foundation chain yarn over and insert your hook in fifth chain from hook number one uh, chain is this the one that the loop on our hook goes out uh, one two three four five in fifth chain work a double crochet and this turning chain uh, chain also uh, count as a double crochet and double crochet in each stitch across if you are following my chains and uh, chain, you chain 39 uh, chains uh, you should have counting the turning chain 36 double crochets for row 2 you are going to be working a chain 3 at the beginning of the row this counts as your first double crochet then a front post double crochet in second double crochet of previous row that is to insert your hook to the post and not in the uh, normal uh, loop and uh, go behind the post from the right to the left and work a front post double crochet then in next stitch you can see it clearly it's a double crochet and work there a double crochet and then uh, you are going to be working a repeat of this thing two front post double crochet one in each one of next two 
stitches and a normal double crochet. This is our repeat till the end. So, yarn over, work a front post double crochet in next stitch, then a front post in next stitch, and then find the next double crochet and work there in the normal loop a double crochet. So you have two front posts and one normal uh, double crochet and this is the back uh, of our uh, pattern. You can see here pairs of two double crochets that pop out and it looks like uh, they are front post from this side and they are and when we turn back to the right side we are going to work exactly the opposite thing two normal double crochets and one front post at the end of the row I have three stitches left two double crochets and my turning chain and I will work the pattern repeat as before front post front post in the last clearly seen double crochet and work there in third chain from hook a double crochet and this is our uh, pattern of row 2 and uh, you should turn and this is the right side of our uh, pattern chain 3 we are at row 3 chain 3 at the beginning of the row and then uh, double crochet in the normal loop in next stitch also double crochet in next stitch uh, these are the two stitches that stand a little back and then we can see in front of us uh, that this stitch is a front post double crochet and the repeat from now to the end is going to be this front post double crochet in this stitch to um, maintain this pattern uh, double crochet in the normal loop double crochet in the normal loop so front post in this stitch double crochet in next stitch and double crochet in next stitch and we have three stitches left the first is a front post so we are ending the row with this pattern a simple double crochet in next stitch and in third stitch in top of chain three a double crochet this a chain three at the beginning and then a front post we can see clearly it's a front post then we are working a double crochet next stitch uh, you should keep in mind that in row uh, on the wrong side rows we have to do these three stitches at the beginning and after this we are going to have our normal repeat which is front post, front post, double crochet simple double crochet front post front post again and to this stitch that looks like it's, it is standing behind and it is we are going to work a normal double crochet so repeat this front post, front post, double crochet and then a simple double crochet to the end again we end the round the row with front post with this repetition front post double crochet and a double crochet in top of chain 3 
and turn this is our right side and again remember us in row 3 uh, this is row 5 now we are going to repeat chain 3 at the beginning of the row and then double crochet in next stitch and and double crochet in next stitch and after these three stitches we are going to repeat front post double crochet, a simple double crochet, a simple double crochet this is our repeat to the end front post these three stitches pattern double crochet and double crochet at the end of this um, uh, crocheting when you reach at the length that you want and you are uh, after your last right side row you are going to work to the back side one double crochet normal in normal loops in top stitches of the double crochet of previous row uh, to the end and this is the way to um, end your piece and you should fold this take a, a needle and then very very simply hold this and you can choose any way any method you want in order to uh, make your seam I used to work this way one time at each side and I'm going to uh, sew till the corner here and this uh, small side and so I will make a sort of a pouch and I will leave uh, this open to make the handle for this washcloth uh, take your yarn and make the slip knot and chain 7 I may, I'm going to make it wide um, around I will tell you how much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and insert your hook in second chain from hook and work a single crochet and single crochet across the row so two single crochets three four five and six if you chain uh, seven you are going to have six single crochets turn and always chain one at the beginning of the row and you can see clearly the loops from behind and work the same single crochet in every stitch two three four five the last one is a little bit you can uh, you can see the loop watch out to take two strands of yarn and work the sixth at the end uh, you should count if you want to be right uh, and make the same amount of stitches in every row uh, I will this is about um, four centimeters wide and it's going uh, I'm going to uh, make a length from here till here I will show you in a while work this way until this reaches uh, 15 centimeters long So once you have finished with this uh, handle, put it uh, here, make it uh, slightly less wide than the uh, washcloth and you are going to uh, find a place and sew it on the washcloth from one side, very very simple way to join 
make it strong because you are going to put your hand and so um, your sewing has to be secured okay I pull it it's okay and instead of cutting my yarn I could travel this way to go to the other side so I don't have to make anything more and hold it like this I keep um, watch out to be straight and make this sewing from this part also I think it's a nice uh, idea for a gift in these natural fibers uh, as cotton I wouldn't suggest this uh, to an acrylic yarn because it has to be washable and and go back a little bit so I'm finished with my ends cut my yarn and this is it a beautiful washcloth you can put this way uh, your hand and you can put your beloved soap, soap in here and you can use this way your hand when it is uh, already wet or you can put your um, both uh, bath foam here and uh, use it uh, as it is. You can wash it and uh, let it dry after each shower and this is going to be a perfect present for every friend. Uh, that is our uh, today's pattern. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. That makes me happy and makes me um, make more and more uh, you can share the video if you like to your friends and uh, to any uh, crochet teams uh, you are in thank you very much have a nice summer and crochet and make gifts for friends bye